All right, so maybe you're in the architectural stage for designing your new property, you're really excited, and you're thinking about lighting. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, do LED lights save money? All right, this is Tyson Rabini from Quality Audio Video in Centennial, Colorado, and today we're gonna to be talking about lighting. So one of the questions here is a question that we get asked all the time, and that's, do LED lights really save money? Um, the short answer is absolutely. The longer answer is, what are we comparing it to? Um, it's kind of important to establish some relevance as to, um, is it less than CFLs or incandescent bulbs and that sort of thing? I'll just kind of touch the top surface of it, and we can always dive in deeper on another video, or you, know, you guys can start a conversation below and ask some questions, and we'll always be happy to answer any questions you have. But um, just going on to um, the government's uh, energy site here, and it, there's some really specific numbers here that are pretty astonishing, right? So um, they're saying in a residential application that Energy Star rated products, uh, particularly residential LEDs, would use 75% less energy and last 25 times as long compared to incandescent lighting. So an incandescent bulb is basically the bulb that most of us have always grown up with or have had in our houses until uh, compact fluorescence and halogens and LEDs came about. And so that is tremendous in terms of the efficiency and savings. Um, in our experience too, um, you know, the other thing to point out is regardless of the lighting type that you're using is, you know, there's a lot of other ways just to make that lighting more efficient. Um, and one of those ways is dimming. So as soon as you start dimming a load, you're just using less energy. And oftentimes, um, if you go to like 90% or 85%, sometimes it's not even perceivable. So you're saving energy. The light in the room is still really good. Um, and then beyond that, if you start dimming much lower, now you're talking about enhancing ambiance in addition to energy savings. Uh, there's just a lot of convenience involved that go with that. So I'll jump over here. Um, the Department of Energy has some pretty interesting statistics that um, are rather mind blowing. So uh, they measure energy um, in quads, um, and a quad is like one quadrillion uh, BTUs, something like that. So the statistic here that I'd like to point out is um, the Department of Energy says that LEDs will enable uh, an additional 16 quads of energy savings through 2035. I mean, this, there's no um, doubt about um, the energy savings that LEDs bring. This is the direction that everything's going. They're saying by 2035, 84% of all lighting installations um, will lead to 62 quads of cumulative energy savings. Um, and so the other thing that this kind of ties into as is relevant to smart home technology is lighting control. And so what that means is, is you're not just dimming uh, a single lighting load like uh, your kitchen pendants or something like that. Uh, with lighting control, you're going to create a scene that might be entertain or good night, um, something that ties a whole group of lights together um, on a single button press that will dim them all down to the desired light level that you want. And this is important because um, we can then start tying in um, some automation features that will shed off additional energy savings if the room's not occupied. So we'll take things like occupancy sensors, vacancy sensors, photo cells. And we'll start using all this and programming it in a way that builds off the energy savings that we started with by, say, choosing LED lighting. And then we'll add to that by then uh, incorporating lighting control. And so now we can make sure that lights are not being left off in rooms or if the home is just not occupied altogether, um, you'll shut off you know, lighting, of course, but you also shut off you know, HVAC and other things. So it just it just becomes an ecosystem that uh, it breeds energy savings. And it's a really fun industry to work in and it's a lot of fun to help people do this process and be a part of something that's so fun and exciting in terms of energy savings in the future. So that was just a short answer. Um, want to be real direct to the point as far as um, just to share the importance of um, LED lighting and why it's so popular. And I encourage you to start that conversation below. So leave some questions, give us some feedback on your thoughts. Uh, if you're planning a project, let us know what you're doing, what you're up to. Are you building, remodeling? Uh, do you have a residential facility, a commercial facility? Are you part of the design build team, like an architect, builder, interior designer? Um, we'd love to hear from you and see what you're doing, uh, what kind of lighting you're using, if you're planning lighting control and that sort of thing. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe below. Look forward to hearing from you. Again, this is Tyson Rabbity from the Quality Audio Video Showroom in Centennial, Colorado. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. GoQAV.com.